to do just a very, very short haul. It's the end of the week. I'm probably not going to get any more books. I was going to wait for a while, but I thought I'd just show you so I could put them away. The first book that I got was Wonder Cats by Ashley Morgan. True Stories of Extraordinary Felines. Um, I actually got this as a present for my 21st birthday. It is a bit late, uh, but my aunt only just got up to me, so it's almost been a year, but um, I'm very happy. Uh, she also sent me... Oh, wait, I should show you, actually. Do you have this one sec? She also sent me a card, which is just so cute. Look at that little kitty holding a cupcake. I don't know if I've drawn a video with this, but anyway. And then that. I actually think I have showed you guys, but I'm sorry if I have. My brain's just a little place. And then I went to the store yesterday and I had a bit of money. Um, my partner neglected to tell me that we have an extremely high electricity bill. He thought being a man he could take it on himself and not give me the bill, not show me, not make me worry. Um, and then he told me that it was nearly $700 as opposed to our usual bill of 300 or 400 I have no idea how it got like that at all. It's insane. But um, usually I have a little bit of money for myself every week so I spend it on myself um, and because I didn't know that the bill was there or anything like that uh, I decided okay I'll, I'll buy myself a book I haven't really bought myself a book from an independent bookstore for a while and then when I got home he told me and I was like oh. but I have it now so well, that book is The Mother's Group by Fiona Higgins uh, and this one says, The Mother's Group tells the story of six very different women who agree to, to regularly meet soon after the birth of their babies. Set during the first crucial years of their baby's lives, the Mother's Group tracks the women's, women's individual journeys and the group's collective ones as they navigate birth and motherhood as well as the shifting ground of their relationships with their partners. Each woman strives in her own way to become the mother she wants to be and finds herself becoming increasingly reliant on the friendship and support of the mothers of the mother's group until one day an unthinkably shocking event changes every everything, testing their bonds and revealing closely held secrets that threaten to shatter their lives. The mother group is unf an unflinching and compelling portrait of the modern family in all its complexity and intensity. Love, sex, and marriage, and all the joys and tensions of raising children in an increasingly complicated world. Moving, provocative, tender, and utterly gripping, the mother's group will draw you in and never let you go. So, I am so excited to read this. Just really excited. I want to get through the books that I am half ass reading right now so I can get to some of these. Um, if anyone knows, any chick lit or contemporary books that feature babies or anything like that can you guys let me know because I do have some but I'm um, in the mood to read stuff like that right now um, if you've watched any of my videos recently you'll know that I'm having baby fever right now so what better way to um, express myself by reading some baby fiction and lastly, I just got this in the mail today. Um, it's very late. It was supposed to be here at the start of the month, but um, I'm not going to be getting it to it too soon. It's Someone Else's Life by uh, Katie Dale. And I love this cover so much. Um, when I saw the cover of the book, I'm like, yep, I have to have it. And I love how it's like... Um, and I think this is about a girl whose mother has um, Huntington's disease and she dies and she's so scared that she's going to get it but she finds out that she's actually not who she thinks she is or she thinks that she's her family is not who she thinks they are etc but um, yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this I probably won't get to it until next year 
<laughs> um, still looking forward to reading it. Oh, and this book is pretty much just about, like, cat stories, um, and it goes into things like unexpected heroes, protecting cats, medical wonders, unlikely friends, people, cats who care or save people, um, and I'm, you know, sometimes I get really frustrated about my little, my little Penny, but, um, for the most part she's very, very loyal and protective and I usually can tell if something's wrong because she is very vocal and at the same time if I ever need her she's always there so she's more so there than porridge and she doesn't lick my feet in the night time or climb on the bed and lick my face when I'm trying to sleep like a certain little grody man does who is I don't know if you can see him I don't think you can no, that light's just too hard. There's Penny. He's over in that little light. Snoozing away. So yeah. So that's me guys and um talk to you guys later. I most blue kisses then. So I used to do it to my partner every time I, I say goodbye. It's like no, I was always going to do it to you guys, so. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. Bye.